Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus. Yeah. Truly, the Lord is in this place. I greet everyone with the peace of the Lord. We're going to open our Bibles in the New Testament. The Testament of Matthew, chapter 25. Matthew 25, verse 6. This is a very known, no text. This is a very known text by the church. Gospel of Matthew 25, verse 6. It says like that. And at midnight, a cry was heard. Behold, the, the bridegroom. It's coming. Go out to me. Go out to me here. Please be seated. The text that we read, it is it's contained on the parable, the parable of the ten virgins. And one parable was an instrument that the, the Jesus in, in his ministry he used many times to speak to the man. But what it is a parable, if you pick up a dictionary, a parable, nothing, it's nothing but, it's a, it's a, it's a history, it's a tell, but that it, in that tell, it's contain, it contains the truth. A spiritual, the teachings, the wonderful teachings from the from God to the man's life. And the text that we read, we can we can we can do two abortions: a historical, and, a, and another one, prophetic. That I say that many, many are interested here tonight. The text that we read speaks about that the reign of the heavens will be the same, the same as ten virgins, and taking their lamps, they went out to meet the grooms. In the historical context, we can say. The virgins were going to participate on a feast and a wedding. On a prophetic context, this wedding talks about talks, talks about the wedding, the church with the groom named Jesus, that one day the rapture of the church. The, church. the Bible speaks on the historical context that five of these ten virgins were crazy. But on the prophetic context, five of those virgins were prudent. And the be crazy and be prudent, you will, we will perceive in the, along the, along the world, along the the text that there's an explanation for it. It was the condition, the only condition to go meet, to go meet the groom, to have a candle, to have the oil. That's the condition. But you also have to, you have the, to have reserve and a vessel. Because it's Israel. 
differently in Israel. When there was a wedding, it was not, was not the groom that would wait for, for the wife, but the wife that would wait for the groom. But he didn't say. He wouldn't say what time he would come, if it was in the morning, if it was in the afternoon, or if it was at night. The groom wouldn't say. But one thing, but one thing that had to be, they had to be prepared because the groom would come. So they had to be prepared. They need to have the candles. And the question that I make, were the ten virgins have candles? Yes, they all had it. They all had the lamps. They, did they have oil? Yes. They had the vessels? Yes. But they all had reserve. No, they, not all of them had the reserve oil. Prophetically, here, the wedding that we speak had a groom. The groom was the son of somebody. He was the son of the father. The father here is the figure of the God. The groom was, is the figure of the Son, the Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the figure of the oil. You cannot go without it. And the church here, I can say, it's the figure of the invitees. The invitees that prudently wait for the rapture. Wait for this great day. With the oil on the lamps. With the provision in the vessels. Because the Bible says that, that the day, the hour of the, the return of the Son of the Jesus, nobody knows. Not even the angels that are in the heaven. Not even the Son knows, but only the Father knows. But the Bible also says, a little bit more of time that will come. Who is to come? Jesus. He will come. He will not, he will not be late. Then she goes to meet the groom. And the Bible says, it's right here in the world, delay the groom, they slept. But it says midnight. The Bible says, the word is, the word is in darkness, but at midnight, the word, they heard, remember our, our service on the 24th, the church at this time was announced to the word. Jesus the message. Jesus. Virá. Jesus will come. Jesus, virá para uma Jesus will come. E não é a to get a church. It's not the Maranatha Mas church. A but it is the church, church that, that washed his, his clothes on there. It's the church that was Acesa. with it. The lamp, the, the, the lamp that's lit, the oil that has the provision, because this church desires, this church is anxious for, is anxious for this meeting with the Jesus, for the wedding, this, this meeting with Jesus, with the rapture. I spoke about the prophetic moment, about the message. Then the groom comes, and now is the orientation. What was the orientation? To go out, to go out and meet them, brethren. 
ir ao encontro It was to go and Mas, meet the groom, but esta hora aconteceu. What, that night, that night something happened. Um fato. Something happened. Was, was, was a fact. Elas levantando. They, they depois, arose. De ouvir esse clamor. And after he de ouvir, aí vem o cry, esposo. After he that the groom was coming. The ones that were prudent got the oil and they poured in the lamp and they went to meet the groom because he was going to see the face of the, of the wife, identify the wives. As que não eram prudentes, the ones that were not prudent, que não tinham provisão, foram that did not have the provision, they went to look e for agora, it and didn't find oil. Se, and now how, how am I going to meet the group if the condition is to have the lamp lead? Meus irmãos, My brethren, e você que nos visita, and, and those that are visiting us, como o dia like the day, do noivo chegar, the day that the groom will come to meet to meet those virgins. It will come for us the day that we will have with Jesus, with, with heaven, with the glory and power. I'm going to open a parenthesis. Everything comes to us. Isn't that true? As we are born, the things start to come to you. Comes the time, the time to start studying. And the come, comes the time to start work. Then comes the time to, to build the family. I'm just being practical. And that comes the time to stop working. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, good time to retire. And there comes a time to be grand, the grandfather, the grandmother. Everything comes in life. That's the day of the Lord. He will come. And how is that going to be for you that day? For those that, are, that were ready, it will be the great day. But for those who were not prepared, they went to buy oil. When they came back, and they knocked on the door where the feast was happening, Lord, open. I won't, I don't know you. My brother, my friend, this is the time. It's, this is the moment for the lamp to be lit. This is the time to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is the time to say, Jesus, come. Come, Jesus. Jesus, come. Because I'm prepared. My lamp is filled with oil. That's why the prophet says, Terrible. Terrible in the great day of the Lord. Terrible for those who are not ready. They're not prepared. But great. I will say wonderful. Glorious. Celsius. For those who are the lamp lit oil, the day of the Lord will be wonderful. That the Lord can, ble can, that can bless you each day, that can strengthen our lives to vivid, and that we can, that we can want the lamp, the lamp's lead, because we want. We want to meet Jesus. The great day of the Lord. We, we want to leave this day. He's coming. Mr. Som, little to me.
Aleluia. When we pray for this uh, service, the Lord shows some gifts I'd like to share with the brethren. The Lord show a family that's here tonight. That's that uh, is a servant of the Lord for a while. And this family, in a um, spiritual moment, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not firm. It, it's living life. But tonight when they came here, during the, during the songs, the word, the plea of the blood of Jesus, the Lord is restoring, is restoring this family. The, the detail of this gift is that they were in this situation, but they didn't, they did not perceive this gravity. How? But the Lord brought you here to renew the first love in your life, to manifest the grace, and to say that you are part, that you're part of the the ones that will go to eternity, and the Lord show. A lady, a lady with mid age, that some time ago in the past, she did something that she perceived that was not good, and this, this has brought a little guilty feeling. And the Lord tonight tells this lady that she needs to be free from that. That she can live in peace, calm. But for that to happen, for her to receive to this freedom, deliverance, that she needs to do what the Bible says, to confess our sins to the Lord. He is faithful and fair to forgive us. Our God is the God that forgives us our failures, our sins. He's telling you this, sister because he loves you profoundly and the Lord show another woman and she come and she come here the, the, your face testifies against you yeah but the look of the Lord for the look of the Lord for this lady this special lady in part when he fixed the eyes on her, her look will change, which was transformed. My life today is different. The show, the Lord show that he's taking all the anguish, the sadness, bringing peace, joy to her heart. And tomorrow, when she wakes up, she will feel another, another, another person, another creature. All the sadness, all the suffering will be past. The, the, the crying can last all night, but the happiness can come in the morning. Blessed be the name. And the, and the Lord is doing this for this lady. Let's stand up, please.
Jesus, in the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. For your grace, Lord. That's among us for the salvation, health, communion, deliverance, sustain. We want to glorify your saint name. That your church is prepared. We want to adore you for that. That you have provided everything in heaven and the earth. So we can so we can go to the doors of heaven. Take us under your peace, under your protection. So we can have a blessed week. We pray in the name of Saint. And in the name we say in our wonderful grace and our Jesus, wonderful Lord. Good Father, and the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit can be with us for now and forever. Amen. Can be seated, please. God bless you, Gemma. God bless you, Steve. God bless you, Wayne. We'll have services on Tuesday and Thursday at 8, at 6 o'clock, at 7.30 at night and 7.30 on Sunday and every Sunday at 1030 we have our our biblical our Bible study at, on Sundays you are invited to be part of it so we can learn more <coughs> more about this moment that we're living the moment of the rapture if you'd like a prayer for your life please stay where you are some if you have any just raise your hands and we can identify you so the you can receive the the do uh, there you go